Hi fiends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 439 in Best Fiends. This one's called River Island, with the goals of opening 8 crates and collecting 125 blue. So, let's see what we can do about this. We've got Dennis, he does these horizontals. We've got Napoleon, he gives a an area bomb. We've got Edward, and he's going to help us with collecting the 125 blue. And then we've got Vega, and she's got the vertical. So if we could go in here, we could hit a column. Uh, for Dennis, he can help us go across. I guess I like those fiends. If I lose, then maybe I will do something different. So let's see what we can do here. Uh, it looks like we have to get rid of these glass cubes and open up these crates by getting rid of that slug sludge. So let's do this. We also have these wooden barriers. Important to try to get those gone. I'm going to do the yellow first because there's more yellow than there is green and it's still in a good position. And then should I do green or should I do blue? I'm going to go ahead and do green and try to get the blue positioned better. There we go. All right, this is looking good so far, and I've almost got a converter ready. Converters are going to be good for this, but bombs would be better for this, most likely. Now I don't really care much for most of my moves. This looks best of all of them. There, now I've got some yellow built up. The yellow isn't great where it is, but it's going to put the green together. And that green, wow, did it put the green together. Okay, so I can take out all of that green. I'm opening crates. This one's going to be completely gone. And I've cut through a lot of that wood, and now I've got a bomb. The question is where best to use that bomb. I could collect a lot of green and come over this way and end here. But those crates are almost open. I think I like this. I hit the crates off to the right. I take out the blue and the wood and the glass blocks. I like this. The only other option, which I might like more, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. The other option, which I might prefer is, hold on, just starting this way and not going so far over coming to here because this wood is thicker and these crates are more secured and there's more glass cube thickness to break through and that still takes out a great deal now I've got another bomb now I've got a converter I can't get this bomb into a column so it's not the best place or time to use it I'm going to take this blue down which brings this converter down if I can't get another good deal with the um, bomb yet. I think it's time to do something like this. That's a lot of blue. That gets me another converter. It's taking out glass cubes. It's opening crates. It's repositioning things. I, I, I don't see how I could have done better with that. Okay, and now I'm going to take out green because it's going to drop the converter, but also look what it's going to do for the yellow. So now I could grab a whole bunch of yellow, but I'm going to grab just a little bit of yellow and do more damage with that bomb. So that crate's completely open now. All right, now let's see about the converter. Because the converter also does help with opening the crates. It's just a one by, you know, one per turn type thing. There we go. Lots of blue plus another converter. So here's my next converter. I need to bring it downward. This hits the crate and brings the converter down. I could do this and hit these crates over here, but it doesn't get me a bomb. Let's see what this does. These glass blocks are starting to really get in the way. This does not get me a blue converter, but the blocks are in the way. It does, however, clear out that, and it gets me a lot of blue. So now I'll focus over here until I 
build that blue back up. Let's just work on crates. I'm looking at my goals specifically. Um, hmm. This is not great, but it's going to align the green. So I can hit that again. And then of course I have to bring that blue. Hold on, before I do this, what if I do this? That does not get me a converter, or I would take that. So let's do this with the crate and see if we can get more blue together. Ooh, or a bomb. That does get me a converter. So hopefully it'll come over here. There we go. And now we ease this townward. Look at this. This gets the crate and brings that blue down. That converter clears everything out in the path too. Well, we did get a new new item in, but that's okay because this is as much as we need to get this one done. There we go. So really the most important fiend at that point in time was Edward. The other fiends only contributed in minor ways. Well, they didn't contribute often. When they did contribute, they contributed in major ways. But I wasn't able to fill them often because I was focused on the blue. And that worked out well for me. All right, so let's see what we get. Ooh, we've got 11 keys. So let's just do this yellow meteor mites. Look at that. I'm really building up a lot here now. I've not been upgrading fiends recently. But I think it's time to upgrade fiends because guess what? I got a fiend that I haven't really put into use yet. <gasps> More yellow meteor mites. And since she's low level and I haven't upgraded her yet, uh, it'll be easier to do. So let's go ahead and do that together. I go to my fiend area here and I look for, I think she's blue. Eleanor, there she is. So she's blue and she's got a plus shaped bomb and it's only 600 to upgrade her. So let's evolve her hopefully a couple times. Here we go. Look at her attack rising. This is fun to watch. And then look at the silhouette we're going to get next. Here we go. She's evolved. She's growing up. I like this shell. I like her spotted shell. All right, well, let's keep going. We've got plenty of yellow meteor mites, and she's the newest to the team. We want to be able to start using her soon. Of course, we needed Edward last time. We wouldn't have been able to use Eleanor. But still, here we go. <laughs> she's getting fatter and happier. Um, I don't think we'll be able to get her up to 15, but let's just see how close we can get her. Maybe we can, and certainly we can use diamonds. I was always very careful about, oh, I don't want to use up my diamonds. I don't know if I'm going to need them in the future. No, this is what we need them for. So the future is now. Let's just go ahead and use them up. There we go. Didn't even need any diamonds. All right. So Eleanor is now level 15, and she's pretty powerful. So we'll see about using her next time we need blue and we don't quite need Edward. Thanks so much for watching, folks. If you have any questions or comments, put those below. Bye-bye.